The Clippers, Kawhi Leonard. After leading the Raptors to an NBA title, Kawhi joined Paul George in L.A., but came up short in the playoffs, losing in the second round after holding a 3-1 series lead on the Nuggets. Kawhi's teammate, Lou Williams, seemed to take a shot at him during Monday's postgame, saying, I was in the league preload management. Stephen A., is Kawhi or PG-13 actually the better leader for the Clips? Um, to answer the question directly, Kawhi or PG, I would say PG. Uh, because uh, by default, not that PG is this vocal leader, this rah-rah guy, but it's because everything that I've heard about Kawhi Leonard, here's what I hear about him. He is elite, which we all know. Both ends of the floor. He is a superstar player. But he is one of the most indifferent leaders you will ever see in your life. He is not a guy that is going to galvanize and inspire. He is a guy that is a master at doing his job. And those other responsibilities come with someone else. And because of that, some people pointed out to how that was a huge problem for the Clippers last year. Now, we can't ignore that PG clearly had a problem with Montrell's Harrell and vice versa. Harrell basically told everybody that. But in the end, when I look at PG, because of all the sacrifices that were made by the Clippers in order to get him and all the talk that he's been doing about how he's going to get in everybody's you-know-what, he's got his old trainer back, et cetera, et cetera, he's the one guy that could influence Kawhi for Kawhi to influence others. If anybody could pull it off, it has to be PG because of what Kawhi went through or what Kawhi insisted upon in order for the Clippers to ultimately get PG. So it's basically by default, but I would say based on Kawhi's personality and what he has shown throughout his entire career, PG is a bit more talkative. He is a bit more loquacious. He does seem to be more willing to communicate um, and, and, and to talk with folks. And I think that that lends itself towards leadership in a lot of ways in the NBA. So I would say PG over Kawhi in that regard. But he obviously has to perform on the court in order for people to want to listen to him. The answer is Kawhi. And the answer is Kawhi for a very simple reason. Because PG-13 goes away in the playoffs. And that dude can't be your leader. He can be an excellent player. And when I say goes away, he's better than an average starter. He's an average, somewhere between an average starter and an all-star. But in the regular season, he's somewhere between an all-star and an MVP. He declines in the playoffs. And whatever happened with Kawhi in that last game seven, or, you know, whatever. Like, some guys have bad nights, and that was a bad time to have a bad night. Kawhi was excellent, as Perk has pointed out. Extraordinary. Through the playoffs for the second consecutive year, because the year before, he won finals MVP. And that wasn't the first finals MVP he won. So Kawhi's style is, as you say, Stephen A., that's what the reporting has been. That's what you hear. And I wouldn't dispute it. And it's maybe not ideal. Although, some people lead by example. And if Kawhi is the best at just doing his job, and that's the example he says, maybe everyone should do their jobs. But the problem with Paul George is he's disqualified because your best player should be your leader. And barring that, a clutch player can be your leader, but not a guy you can't rely on when it matters most. That's why the reporting has also been that the team didn't have a problem with the special treatment Kawhi got. They had a problem with the special treatment Paul George got. That can't be your leader. Max, you are so wrong right now. You are so wrong in so many areas by saying that your best player has to be your leader. And that is not true. When you look at the Miami Heat, do you know who's the, who's the leader for the that. Miami Heat, Max? Who is the leader for the Miami Heat? I didn't say your best player has to be your leader. Get, Jimmy Butler. You just said that. Who? No, he's not. Uh, Udonis Haslam is the leader for the Miami Heat. So with that being said, a lot of guys can't gravitate to guys coming up just to show up to work. Your leader does everything else off the court also. And to me, it's a no-brainer to answer the question. Paul George is the better leader. Why? Because he's more vocal. We haven't heard 10 words from Kawhi Leonard this offseason. And when reports come out, they, they talk about the special treatment that Kawhi gets, being able to take his helicopter to practice, being able to fly back to San Diego to, to live in his $20 million mansion, uh, holding the plane up, being late. 
having his own coach on the coaching staff, having his own trainer, everything, just being a loner. So PG, although I don't agree with a lot of things that comes out of his mouth, at least he owns up to a lot of things. He's not afraid to address certain things, especially when it's about himself. It's not all about your leader has to deliver on the court, Max. Your leader is a guy that's going to be vocal. And by the way, the Clippers just invested over $200 million into Paul George. So that means the Clippers are committed to Paul George, and Paul George is committed to the Clippers. Kawhi hasn't has signed nothing yet. He has a player option for next year. So with that being said, PG is the leader. He has to be the leader, the guy that steps up vocally in the locker room, uh, you know, Calling team dinners when they, you know, on the road, getting guys together, that has to be Paul George because we know that's not Kawhi Leonard. And history tells us that because he wasn't even the leader in Toronto. So that being said, it's Paul George. There's no I'm not in a position to dispute your locker room experience, who is you who have played on a championship team. When you bring up a guy like Haslam, who's, you know, the, the lifetime heat award, whatever that is, you know, I get it. He's, he's, a, he's like a, a, a synonymous with the franchise. We're talking about different things here, though. Haslam, if you want to call Haslam the leader instead of the heart and soul or, or a culture setter or whatever, there is leadership in that. But when I think of the Heat, I don't think of Haslam. I don't think the Heat are going to go as far as Haslam leads them. I think of Jimmy Butler. And, and uh, sure, Kawhi should be more vocal, ideally. That's not his style. Maybe you need another dude like Arondo on that team. That's why we were all talking about that, who would have been the right kind of leader. Well, but, but Rondo, notice, I didn't say it has to be the best player, but it has to at least be a clutch player. At least be a dude who shows yeah, up when yeah. you need him. It can't be a dude who goes away under pressure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.